Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel as Papa Cook. So today I'm gonna make paneer kathi rolls and everything including the paneer is made from scratch. So keep watching the video to find out the recipe. So now the next step is to prepare a marinade uh, for the kathi roll kebabs. And what I have uh, for that is uh, just uh, like a quarter of uh, green pepper, a quarter of onion. Make sure that they are kind of cut in this squarish shape. Um, a little bit of lemon, um, half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, uh, like a teaspoon or and a half of uh, mint leaves. For spices, we have um, ground cumin powder, half a uh, half a teaspoon, um, half a teaspoon uh, garam masala, salt to taste and some paprika powder. Um, I'm also going to add a little bit of tomato paste, so like two tablespoons and I have uh, yogurt, whisked yogurt here. So now we're going to combine all the ingredients along with the paneer that we made before. Uh, so let's go ahead and I just want to mention how beautifully the paneer has come together. I mean, I am so amazed and this doesn't have any chemicals and it's made organically. I'm just so pleased with myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's go ahead and combine the ingredients. So I'm going to add all the liquid ingredients. about let's cover and keep for at least 30 minutes in the meantime I'll show you how to prepare the wrap for the kathi rolls so now we're gonna make the wrap and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half 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 wheat flour and half all-purpose flour so I'm just gonna make for myself so it's gonna be really less uh, but uh, if you want to remember the ratio it's half and half um, what I have here is I have dissolved a little bit of yogurt in water and uh, I'm going to also add some salt to the flour before I uh, add the water. So the dough is done. What I'm going to do in the end is I've cleaned my hands and I'm going to take a little bit of oil in my hand and just give it a final finish. So just take oil. I'm using olive oil. Um, rub your hands and take the dough and just... Uh, give it a final finish. Keep this ball of dough covered for 30 minutes. So now we'll bake our uh, paneer and uh, rest of the stuff together. Uh, not for long, just to get it a little bit golden crispy. Uh, so I'm going to add uh, this to a baking dish. And get all the goodness of the marinade. and add some extra virgin olive oil. Give it a mix and we'll just pop it in the oven now. So here I have the um, the flour that we made before and it came out quite nicely and smooth. Now I'm going to roll it into a roti kind of a shape. So the wrap is being um, made here on top on the stove and your vegetables are getting done in the oven. Everything is moving along nicely. In five minutes, uh, you should be able to put everything together. So now what we have here, if we have the wrap here and we have uh, the uh, marinated and uh, oven baked vegetables, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sauce and just uh, smear it over the wrap before spreading the vegetables. Center the vegetables and make it a really good amount and then you're just going to take it in like this and fold it and another fold and then take a toothpick and just like this. So now your wrap is ready. I'm just going to clean the plate. Take the rest of the vegetable So this is 
how the dish finally came about. I'm very excited to try it. So I just tried the uh, kathi roll. They came out divinely. The paneer just melted in my mouth. The vegetables were crunchy and still had that flavor that I got into them from baking. And the wrap was so crispy and the 50-50 ratio worked absolutely wonderful. Uh, it was my first time trying it and I was surprised at the results. Uh, it, they were pretty good. Uh, so I would urge you to try this recipe, follow the step-by-step -step instruction and it's not uh, rocket science. I really hope you try this and till next time, lots of love.